Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now today's episode is going to be a little bit different. I get a lot of questions lately about how I set up my G1000, um, how I get looking the way it is, the G people are having issues with G3000s not working. Um, so I figured that this would be a good time to show you guys how I set everything up. Alright, so sit tight and let's get the show started. Okay, so first off, as you can see the gem on the screen here, this is the first thing that I use. So if your issue is that you have the G3000, G1000 installed, but it doesn't look like this, this is your problem, okay? This is the PMS5 GTN750 add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, you do need to create a login. I believe at this time it is still free, but let's find out, okay? So you just create a login. You're going to, uh, you know, set up your password, et cetera, and then log in. Takes a second there. There we go. All right. And then now what you're going to do is we're going to come down and we're going to want all three of these. Okay. Like I said, at the moment, I believe this is still free. Basic version is free. Let's see what the premium is. It might have gone into a uh, pay system now, but we'll see. So we want to download and the basic version is free. Here's everything that comes with it. And again, you get that uh, real n sleek layout. Okay. We're going to hit download. Then we're going to go back a page and we're going to go to the premium version. And let's see if it's got a purchase on it yet. Looks like we can download it. All right. There's the premium. And then let's go into the Activation key. Now I don't know. I've already done this one, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. Okay, so it is a purchase. So activate premium license. Purchasing the activation key implies that you have checked the basic package and works fine in your environment. All right. Um, and so let's go ahead and assume that you have done this. Okay, now I already have it installed with a different version of it. So you need to buy this. You need to purchase the license, however you want to do this. All right, let's go back and review the differences between premium and the basic. So you have a traffic page, terrain page, weather radar. Let's just go ahead. You know what I'm going to do? I'll show you guys easy way to do this. We'll just take a screenshot of it. It should really create a comparison chart side by side, but we'll open up in the image editor. And then let's go back to the basic for a second because this is new to me as far as it being charged. The last time I downloaded this, it was still free. So let's see what we got here. So it looks like it adds all of this because none of this is listed. So here you get comm, nav, audio panel, transponder, map, flight, plan, editing, and leg, procedures, direct to OBS, navigation, uh, nearest pages, waypoint pages, and messaging. Where here we get waypoint selection, waypoint elevation data, um, navigraph charts. There you go. That's a big one. Uh, traffic page, terrain page, weather radar, flight plan preview, flight plan cumulative distance, flight plan import, flight plan catalog, load and save. That's actually kind of cool. That really is. Um, textual meter and um, VCalc. So your um, V speeds is what I was assuming. Requires Navigraph chart subscription. All right. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and do the premium. So we can, you know, talk about that as well at some point. I don't know that we'll get into that today as far as a review of it. You guys saw what it has. That's quite a bit of features. So I'm going to do an add to cart here. Um, I'm going to continue with the checkout process and then I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so I've gone ahead and completed that. By the way, this comes out to 3126 US dollars for anyone who's interested. And now let's go ahead and take a look at how to install all of this. So I'm going to... Let me open up a second window here. Give me just a minute, guys. Got a bunch of other stuff that I'm working with here, so got a bunch of content coming out this weekend. 
So hopefully that will excite somebody. Now let me put this stuff in here. Oh, wait. So let me drag this, drag this, take that, and put it here. Okay. So here's what you need to do. And, and it's up to you how you do this. So I use my add-ons linker for everything that I can. I still prefer add-ons linker. I just, I think, I think I just got used to it is what happened. Um, and then we're going to go to systems and you can see that I've already got the base and premium version installed from, like I said previously before, but it's on a paid version. Now it's got some updates. So we're going to delete these. Now, before I do that, I need to make sure we remove them. So this is just my folder that add-ons linker is looking at. So I'll show you guys how I turn everything off here. Bring this guy back up over here. Oh, that's so bright. I wish they would do something about the background colors. I'm picky like that. It has nothing to do with the program. I, I use dark mode anytime that I can. All right, so I'm going to minimize that for now. And then we're going to take these two out, and I'm just going to delete them. Okay, so just hit delete. And then these two, I'm going to take 7-zip, extract to their folder name. Let's see, it makes a copy of the folder name, unextracted. I love 7-zip, highly recommend it especially with as often as we're dealing with mods and everything. And we're just going to open these up, make sure that there's no other content, no other folder structure. So remember, as I've told you before in previous mod videos, and this goes for anything, whether you're doing the G3000, if we look at my G3000, this is the mod, guys. Okay, it's really important you guys understand how these file structures work. Okay, this is the mod. So how your file structure should work in your community folder is it should say community folder, then where it says systems here should say the title of the mod. Think of the first folder as nothing more than the title. What is it? And then when you open it, or think of it as a book, all right? This is the title of a book. We open the book. Here's the pages to the book, okay? If you open this, okay, if this is in your community folder, if you see community, then G3000, you open up the folder, and there's another folder that says G3000 or working title or something like that, okay, it's wrong, okay? Your file structure is incorrect. It should be community folder, the name of the folder or our book, right? The name of the book. And then the very next tab should have the contents of the mod. Okay. If it's not like that, and this goes for any mod you have in your community folder, I don't care if it's an airplane scenery, it does not matter. It should be community folder, the name of the, the addition and the contents. Okay. As we see here. All right. So anyway, um, and I, I don't mean to sound like a broken record there. It's just, this question keeps coming up and, and I want you guys to be able to enjoy it. Um, the mods are what make half of this fun. Um, so anyway, now I'm going to copy this over. We verified again. Here's our book title. There's the book pages. So we're good there. Let's just grab both of these and we're going to drag them in. Okay. Now the G3000 was updated today. Um, and so I'm going to show you what I'm using for it. Okay. To get the G3000 installed. Oh, you know what? I can just do it from here. I'm going to go to my applications. And I'm, I've been using this community downloader for as much as I can. This is a really slick program. I like it a lot. So I already updated, but I can very easily show you how to do it again. Download this community downloader. There's a link in the description. Okay. And then you have all of these options that you can download. Like, for example, let's say the CJ4 got updated. All I need to do is click on it, hit remove it. Okay. And then hit install. All right. And boom, up to date. So the G1000, for example, okay, it's the same thing, all right, if, if you need to update it. So what I saw today with the G3000 is this said installed version 07.1, okay, and available showed version 07.2. So it doesn't have an quote unquote update button, but you just remove it. Once it's removed, click it again to install it. And boom, you've got the latest version of the G3000. And it takes care of all the file structure for you. Um, the only thing that... So it will try to, on its own, uh, verify that you have the um, community folder installed, you know, in a location it can find it. It found it for me. I did not have to tell it where the uh, community folder was, and I'm using a custom folder. Um, so uh, it's pretty good about finding that, so just keep that in mind. Um, but then you have also this GNS530. I've been using it, okay? Um, I think this is a free version um, because, again, I wasn't, wasn't charged for it. Um, so you have those options as well, and that's just the little one down here, right? So we have the 530, then we have the 750, then we you know get into the G1000 and 3000, 5000, etc. Okay, so we have it installed, all right? And so now let's just verify 
or uh, excuse me, sorry, I have this in my directory. Now I need to come back to add-ons linker. I'm gonna hit refresh and I'm going to install the 750 and the 750 premium. All right, and then now I'm gonna launch the simulator the simulator <laughs> we are the Borg anyway I'm gonna launch the simulator and I'll see you guys in a second one other mod that I almost forgot that you guys are definitely going to need and this is the one that most of you are probably missing actually is the JD's GTN 750 on others mod now as a matter of fact I need to download the latest version of it so we'll grab that while I'm sitting here And I'll show you guys what I do with it. So essentially what it does is it just adds that PMS5 750 into the, um, some of the other aircraft that aren't officially supported. He also does state that they're not su officially supported. Um, so please keep that in mind. Do not go to the developer of the PMS 550 um, or PMS50.com. That is not on them. Um, this is going to be a addition to that. So, again, if you have any problems with these, you need to go to the big man here, JD. Okay. So, anyway, here's all the aircraft that are currently supported with his mod, which adds the PMS uh, 570 uh, functionality to the, um, the aircraft that were listed below, which is probably what a lot of you guys are seeing when you see my aircraft. So, now let's go ahead and jump into the sim, and I'll hopefully you guys will be able to confirm that, yes, this is exactly what you're seeing and what you're not. All right. So, let's move on. All right, so we are now in our TBM 930, and we can now take a look at our G3000. So let's take a look here. Oh, they reset. Oh, that's right, I did a reinstall. That sucks. To reset all my camera views. All right. So from the MFD page, we now have all the flight plan options that we had with the previous G3000. We have our charts integration. We have the map looking the way it does with the working title version. Okay. And all the other features that come with the working title and the uh, GTN 750. Now, the GTN 750 is really going, only going to affect the G1000 suite, but uh, the one that keeps coming up is the G3000 in conversation. But the exact, the process is the same, so we can load up real quick. Um, let's go ahead and jump into a Cessna. Okay, so now sitting here in the Cessna 172 with the G, um, GTN 750 on top of the G1000, again, we get all that really sleek functionality with the touchscreen utilities the VNAV approaches from working title now, um, or not working title, from um, PMS5. Um, so it's just a matter of making sure you have all the mods in the right places. So remember, it's those three mods um, in order to get everything done, okay? Um, the two mods are going to be with any aircraft that is default with the GTN 750, and then you have the JD's mod, which adds it to the... Um, other aircraft that are listed in his mod page. Um, so really awesome. Um, I hope this clears up a couple of things for you guys as far as how to get them all together. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.